chapter 15 part a mortgage so definition of a mortgage legally a mortgage is not a loan so highlight not a loan it is an interest in land highlight interest in land created by contract as security for a loan so highlight security for a loan made by a lender to the borrower basically from mortgagee to mortgage a mortgage is an interest in land created by a contract again highlight interest in land so what is a mortgage so basically mortgage is an interest in land it is not a loan it's a security for a loan right because the lender the bank has interest in your property because the bank has lent you the money mortgage is not a debt itself I also highlight not a debt itself even though almost all mortgage agreements contain a promise to repay a debt so I like promise to repay a mortgage is a transfer of a legal or equitable interest highlight transfer of legal or equitable interest so equitable basically means the second mortgage or a third mortgage after the first mortgage in land only condition of the interest will be returned when the mortgage terms are performed so the bank or the lender will show up on your title so highlight show up on your title as having an interest on your property highlight interest on your property in case you don't pay them back so basically on the title certificate so the bank's name will be written will be will be there so basically if you get a loan from CABC it will show CABC so basically the bank has interest in land because they have lent you the money next is doctrine of equity of redemption the court of equity changed the rights of a borrower who did not pay his mortgage on time through the development of the doctrine of equity of redemption so highlight doctrine of equity of redemption this permits the borrower to repay the debt and regain the property even after the contractual date for repayment has passed <coughs> so highlight even after contractual date so highlight to repay and highlight regain you have for example you miss your mortgage payments but Allah gives you the right to pay highlight the right to pay what you owe back and not lose your house and highlight not lose your house basically mean for example you have missed one two three payments so the the law allow you to pay those missing payments and still you can regain the property that means equity of redemption it means the buyer has the right to retain the property to regain the property to cash his equity equitable mortgage uh, then is in BC and under the torrent system of land registration, highlight torrent system, all mortgages are registered as a charge, highlight as a charge. So charge means a notation, note placed on the title. Mean notation or a note placed on the title. The lender has the right to have legal title, so highlight legal title to the property in the event of default by the borrower. For example, if the borrower doesn't pay, so the bank has the right. The bank has the right to your property, but this right is subject to the borrower having the legal right to retain an interest. Highlight legal right to retain interest in the land referred to as the equity of redemption. Highlight equity of redemption. Basically. You still have the right to take your property back after paying your missing payments. But bank has the legal right. If you don't pay, they can also get the title. Equitable mortgages can be created in three ways. Number one, equitable mortgage. The first mortgage in BC that is registered is the legal mortgage. So highlight legal mortgage, highlight first mortgage. Regardless of time of execution, regardless basically when you had it. And any other registered mortgages, either any other registered mortgages, will be considered equitable. So, highlight equitable. Mortgages charging on the borrower's equity of redemption 
second and third was equitable dimension. Basically, when you get a more first mortgage, this is the legal mortgage. But when you get a second mortgage, you get a mortgage against your equity now. For example, I have a, I get a mortgage for half a million dollars and I pay three hundred thousand down. So now I give a, uh, you know, give a second mortgage to somebody for for hundred thousand dollars because I have a three hundred thousand dollars equity there. So then I can give fifty thousand on the third mortgage. But basically, so the second and third mortgage is called the equitable mortgage. The owner borrower can still grant subsequent mortgages on his property as in a second or third mortgages depending on how much equity. So highlight how much equity and highlight grant subsequent. Grant mean give and subsequent mean following mortgage such as second and third. So this is higher. So highlight higher for the subsequent mortgage because you're giving a second mortgage and third mortgage. Now your equity is depleting. So therefore the interest rate charge will be higher. So higher and higher to compensate the risk. So that's why when you get a second mortgage or third mortgage, you pay higher interest. And the two is by deposit of duplicate certificate of title. A fee simple owner of property. Fee simple means no qualification required to inherit the property, which is free of financial charges. Meaning, on the certificate title, there is no mortgage. So I have no mortgage or an agreement for sale. Then an owner can apply to the registrar of the land title office for the duplicate certificate title in writing. So I in writing. This document can be used to create an equitable mortgage. So I an equitable mortgage by handing the duplicate certificate of title over to the new lender. To create an equitable mortgage, the bank would require the duplicate certificate of title as collateral security. Highlight collateral means additional security for a demand loan. It is a simple means of taking temporary security. So highlight temporary security. So basically, once your house is paid off, so there is no mortgage, you can have a duplicate certificate and you can lend the money based on that from a different bank. Section 33rd of the Land Title Act prohibits registry of this type of equitable mortgage. So how does it prohibit? How does Section 33? This equitable mortgage is valid between parties, but because it cannot be registered, so how it can't be registered, the parties are not affected by it. The lender is fairly safe as he actually holds the duplicate certificate. So how it safe, how it holds the certificate. And a person cannot transfer title for mortgage without the duplicate put back at the land title office. So basically you can't transfer until you give the duplicate certificate back. So and the other one is Third, by an agreement to give a mortgage. An agreement to give a mortgage in the future is recognized as a present equitable mortgage. So, a present equitable mortgage. Also, mortgage that cannot be registered because of procedural reasons. So, a procedural reason, a cannot be registered. Is recognized as an equitable mortgage. To protect the lender, he should file a caveat. Caveat note on title for two months to protect this position until the document is in proper register form and this own title. So I had two months and had a caveat. So, so you can register a caveat so you can protect your title for two months. 